A brief overview of attachment theory, as presented in Child Development, a Practitioner's Guide, written by Douglas Davies. John Bowlby is accredited for formulating attachment theory in his attempt to understand separation distress in very young children. Bowlby observed toddlers placed in residential nurseries for several days while their mothers were hospitalized. The intense anger and distress these children expressed, in spite of being adequately cared for physically by staff, suggested a strong reaction to being separated from their mothers. The fact that these toddlers became so distressed and then depressed and detached as the separation lengthened suggested that the child's bond with the mother had particular qualities that made their relationship unlike any other. When that tie was temporarily broken, these young children suffered profound emotional reactions as if they had lost their mothers. These one to two year olds were relieved when they were reunited with their mothers, yet remained very anxious about minor separations. Bowlby formulated the idea of attachment as a strong emotional tie to a specific person or persons that promotes the young child's sense of security. The functions of attachment include providing a sense of security, regulation of affect and arousal, promoting expression of feelings and communication, and serving as a base of exploration. Secure attachment is likely to develop a positive sense of self, whereas children with an insecure attachment are more likely to develop disturbances in the view of self and in the capacity to maintain self-esteem. Infants who have been effectively helped with regulation of arousal through soothing and contingent responding of their caregivers develop effective internal and social strategies for regulating affect and arousal and become more competent at coping with stress. Infants who have experienced high levels of arousal and intense affect without the help of maternal regulation are likely to internalize a view of the self as ineffective or out of control and to develop maladaptive coping strategies such as affect numbing or hyperactivity, which leads to aggression and tantrums. Children with a secure attachment trust caregivers and apply this internal working model to other relationships. Children with an insecure attachment often mistrust the intentions and emotional responsiveness of adults. Mary Ainsworth applied Bowlby's attachment theory to an experimental procedure called the strange situation, which involved mothers briefly leaving the observation room where their infants were playing. This procedure was designed to elicit attachment behaviors, which could be observed through maternal responsiveness and sensitivity and infant reaction to separation. Through her research, Mary Ainsworth was able to identify one type of secure attachment, two types of insecure attachment, and later research would reveal a third type of insecure attachment conducted by Mary Main. The four attachment types are secure attachment, insecure avoidant attachment, insecure ambivalent resistant attachment, and insecure, disorganized, disoriented attachment. Mothers of secure infants are responsive, emotionally available, and loving. Children with a history of secure attachment are more confident about exploring their environment and more open to learning. They are more flexible and resourceful. They show less negative affect, have more age-expected control of impulses, and have a greater capacity for empathy. Babies with an insecure, avoidant attachment are frequently ignored and actively rejected by their mothers. Mothers speak of their babies in negative terms, and they are intolerant of their baby's distress. They often reject or punish the infant for being distressed. Babies with avoidant attachment develop a split of consciousness as a defense and often appear as expressionless or self-contained. They pursue action and exploration in a rigid and self-reliant way. They display higher levels of hostility and negative interactions with others. Babies with ambivalent resistant attachment have mothers who are inconsistent in responding to their child's distress. These children are preoccupied with their attachment at the expense of exploration and learning. They lack assertiveness, are socially withdrawn, and have delayed mastery of separation anxiety. With children who have disorganized disoriented attachment, they find parental behavior frightening. The infant's attempt to use attachment behavior to reduce distress dissolves when the source of comfort is also a source of fear.
Two factors contribute to the development of disorganized attachment, a history of unresolved trauma in the parent and direct maltreatment of the child by the parent. Other parental factors include bipolar disorder and active alcoholism or drug addiction. Disorganized attachment is associated with the child developing controlling behavior, aggression, low self-esteem, and poor academic performance. It is important to acknowledge that external factors can play a large role in the development of child caregiver attachments. Take, for example, the mass deportation of Mexican immigrant families from the U.S. in May and June of 2018. More than 2,400 children were separated from their caregivers. Another example is the necessity of impoverished families living in rural China to send parents to cities where work and income are available. A staggering 60 million children are left at home without a reliable caregiver to help them develop secure attachment. Consider discussing the implications of attachment theory on contemporary issues. And thanks for watching this video.